It's the first uptick in consumer spending in nearly a year. But have the storm clouds really cleared over the U.S. economy? Maybe not just yet. I'm Jim Woods, and this is the Change Wave Hotwire. The 1960s spaghetti western film classic, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, told the tale of three gunmen who set out to find a hidden fortune. In our latest Change Wave Consumer Spending Survey, we set out to find out how fortunes of all sizes will be spent. The survey found a powerful transformation underway in consumer spending behavior, with some of the news surprisingly good, yet much of it still bad, and some even downright ugly. Let's take a close look at the good, the bad, and the ugly of the spending outlook. For the first time since June 2007, we're seeing a consumer spending uptick, albeit only a slight one. Overall spending still looks gloomy, but the 90-day outlook is not quite as dark as it was in our previous survey. 40% of respondents now say they'll spend less over the next 90 days than they did one year ago. Another 28% say they'll spend more. We also ask consumers about their current impressions of the economy, and while things still look bad, they don't appear quite as dismal as they did back in April. There's been a solid increase in the number of respondents who think the economy will improve in the next 90 days. There's also been a sharp decline in the number of those who think the economy will get worse. In another good sign for the economy, the survey found an increase in the number of those who say they're very satisfied with the current state of their personal finances. And where is the spending improving? For the first time this year, we're seeing a slight uptick in consumer electronic spending, although spending in the sector is still very sluggish. Durable goods spending has also witnessed an uptick, as did travel and vacation spending. The spending outlook for households earning less than $50,000 a year is extraordinarily depressed, with over 60% saying they'll spend less over the next 90 days than they did one year ago much worse than our April survey. Only a small portion of those surveys say they'll spend more. Driving the overall uptick in consumer spending is an improved outlook among households earning more than $100,000 a year. But there is a powerful negative countercurrent threatening U.S. economic recovery, and that threat is spiraling inflation worries. Among those who say they're spending less over the next 90 days, inflation and higher energy costs were the top two reasons given. Other concerns have taken a backseat to inflation and higher energy costs, with those who say they'll spend less in order to reduce debt or to save more money on the decline. The consumer spending trends have created a transformation of sorts in retail shopping, with Costco and Walmart once again leading all retail outlets in terms of positive spending growth over the next 90 days. When we ask consumers where they expect to spend their economic stimulus rebates, Walmart and Costco were the two big winners. So, the good news in the survey is that for the first time since June 2007, there's a suggestion of a possible bottom among consumers' lack of willingness to spend. Although spending still remains weak overall, the 90-day outlook is better than it was in April. The bad and the ugly countering the good is a continued deterioration in the economic health of lower-income consumers and a huge spike in inflation worries among virtually all consumers. So, which of the three sides, the good, the bad, or the ugly, will win the battle for the economy going forward? Only time, and our next batch of Change Wave surveys, will tell. I'm Jim Woods, and this has been the Change Wave Hotwire. For more on the latest Change Wave survey results, go to blog.changewave.com.